I'm going to describe the operation of the switches and the brake here on the underway CGD winch. It's powered up. Firstly, the brake. When operating the brake, only pull the brake down to this position. You can pull it further if you give it a lot more force, but what that's going to do is stretch the brake cable inside the winch and you may cause damage. So always remember, that's fine. The winch is going to stop pretty nicely even in that position. Just use a thumb or a finger, be fine. So the spool is, is locked up at that position, nice and tight. Next, fast and slow, fairly obvious. It's on a rocker switch, so the slow motor can be activated and the switch will always automatically click back into the home position. This is for managing the probe recovery close to the ship. The fast switch position is just locked on. The system you may be using may or may not have a separate fast and slow switch and this is an older version so this has the fast and slow in one switch. Level wind off and on for recovery. Entirely separate operation. It's not related to the winch rotation or any other components. This operates entirely separately. Goal posts flip down when we're doing rewinding. So here's the clutch. Right now it's in the off position, so the, what it basically means is the motor is entirely decoupled from the, the winch spool here. So the full spool's free to rotate, very little friction on that, and this is the position you would use whilst deploying the probe, so it allows the line to freely come off. The clutch full position means the spool is completely locked into the motor. So you see there's no rotation. And what this will do is it will obviously be used for um, recovery of the probe after deployment. So full position, you're going to get all of the motor power applied to the line here when it's recovering. The third position here is a slip position and that's only used during the tail spool reloading phase. What it does is it applies a tension to the line that is necessary during the tail spool reloading. So you'll see the line will come off the spool unlike the full position but there's a lot of friction which is a consistent and, and uh, and preset tension specifically for reloading. So that's pretty much what it should be like under the slip condition. It shouldn't run on at all, you should be able to pull it just with one hand with a little bit of uh, force. So what I can do now is put the winch in full and slowly recover that line back on the spool. I don't really want to use the fast setting right now, I haven't got quite enough line out, I don't want to have a little problem that gets away from me. Always we use the slow setting when you're testing the winch like this. So you can see here I've got some tension on the line just from the probe at the end of the line. Clutch to off and then it will just pull off. One thing you can do is you can use the winch motor while the clutch is in the slip position. You need to be careful you never use the, the motor when the clutch is in the full position. But on the slip position you can power up the motor using this fast slow switch. And so the motor is rotating inside and it's pulling the winch ball but I've got enough force here pulling it the other way so the line doesn't get pulled back. Obviously if I let go it'll pull. But uh, this is nice operation. 
everything's nice and smooth, there's no jerkiness. And in this circumstance with the clutch on slip, we can actually put the motor on fast as well. So you can hear there the, the motor's really spinning now, but still there's really little pull on the winch spool. If I had the clutch in the full position of doing this, then I would have a very different outcome. Especially with my fingers. <laughs>